work went a little late. Definitely leaving a lot later than I wanted to. It's about a little after 4 p.m. Let's just get right on the road. Let's get right into this adventure. The thing I worry about the most though when I'm leaving in a rush like this is I hope I didn't forget anything. But I miss you in the morning when I see the sun. Dang, dude, take me on that thing. I want to go for a ride. That looks sweet. I am heading south this weekend. I'm heading to Tucson, actually. And tonight I'm heading to Pichacho? Picacho Peak, I think it is. I got tipped off that there's a lot of wildflowers there right now, blooming out. So, see if we can't get any sizzlers on some milky dilky sunset action here in Arizona. You guys are gonna have to deal with some Grizzly Adams this weekend, unfortunately. Yeah, nice and filled up. $55 for a new tank. Ridiculous. Holy Lord heavens, that's bright. I couldn't see anything. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you have fun exploring. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. Thanks, you too. Well, flip, yeah, dude. Let's get in here and explore, like she said. Wait, am I going the right way? <laughs> am I going the right way, man? I don't know. Let's go catch the sunset, though. Yeah, dude, let's go. This is beautiful. I need to get out there ASAP and capture some stuff. Let's go. is wow just wow magnificent yes yes it was a beautiful night beautiful sunset my heart is full i hope yours is too from watching that now let's get over to the BLM camping and hopefully we can find a spot to park it and I'll be home for the night. Let's get over there. Okay, so somewhere down here, we're gonna find a place to camp. A little bit eerie looking, but I think it'll be fun. <laughs> Can't even see me. But all right, I think this will be home for the night. Out here in the middle of nowhere, there's home. That's a thumbs up if you guys can't see. <laughs> home sweet home. I have a little cactus in my yard. You come over here, there's even a nice little fire pit for us. Heck yeah. The stars right now are popping off. It's so cool to see. I'm gonna get situated, get the fire going. All right, we've got the fire going. So now let's grab dinner. I pre-cooked this at home before I left, so it'll be a nice little dinner. Now we are talking. Except for having coyotes right behind me. You can hear that. Thing sounds right behind me. <laughs> 
I guess that's what you get when you're uh, camping in nature. <laughs> you get coyotes right behind you. They shouldn't give me any problems though. We should be okay. I might turn my chair around though, so my back isn't facing them. <laughs> The, uh, the coyotes have subsided. They were yapping there for a good while. Um, but now they're pretty quiet. Took you guys over here. I'm messing around a little bit with some uh, nighttime photography. The stars are crazy right now. They are so bright. Yeah. Just having a blast out here. This is what we're looking at right now. I went over and got some ones of the cacti. A lot darker over there. I think this one here is super cool. Once you go in there and touch it up in the editing software. Oh baby. So you can always check out my photos on my Instagram. We're just going to keep enjoying this fire until it burns out. And then we'll uh, get ready for bed. Get some shut eye. All right, start getting ready for bed a little bit here. First things first, gotta brush the dentures. Just because you're sleeping out in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean you still can't brush your teeth. Ready for bed, baby. Ready for bed. Alrighty. Let's get into bed. Alrighty, I'm gonna get some shut eye and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Slept like an absolute baby. I love sleeping in here. It's so cozy and just like, I don't know why, I just sleep really, really well in here. Maybe because it has something to do with the view I have in the morning. Like, look at this. Just too good. All right, let's make some coffee. Just a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. This was home for the night. Just sleeping right here and waking up to this. Beautiful. Okay, I changed my jacket because this is a little more aesthetic for the videos. <laughs> I will admit it, I do do that. It is what it is.
I'm filming this making coffee right now. And oh god, I just got pricked really good. I guess I wasn't taking this thing that seriously. <laughs> oh god. While this is boiling, I'll give you guys a little tour of the place. This is the guy right here that just pricked my leg. <laughs> then you come over here. This is where we had our fire pit. And then you come over here. Just wide open desert. And there's home. Pretty awesome. Cheers. Yes. All right, let's enjoy this cup of coffee. Beautiful, beautiful morning out here. Ah, doesn't get much better than this. Just a beautiful morning. Sun is shining. Fresh cup of joe. Nothing better. Nothing better besides Jesus. That is the only thing better at this moment is our Lord and Savior. <laughs> and by the way, on that note, all the praise and all the glory to the big man upstairs. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning. It's a beautiful morning that you have made. We praise you for it. Bring you guys back down here closer to me a little bit. You guys are so far away. What are you guys doing way up there? So, just finished making some coffee. Just finished filming it for like Instagram and TikTok. I don't know if you can see my my camera way out there. Probably not, but it's sitting out there getting some cool shots. So yeah, it's been a busy morning already, but a very successful morning, a very productive morning. Got a lot of cool shots, I think. A lot of cool clips for the Instagram reel. I'm gonna actually enjoy this cup of coffee now, sit back and enjoy it, and then we'll probably try to snag some pictures as well. And then I have non-content related event today. I'm actually gonna go attend a live golf tournament. I don't know how many of you guys know about golf. It's a professional golf league. They branched off from the PGA. There's a lot of controversy between the PGA and Liv, but I'm just a golf fan. Love to watch pros play golf. So Liv or PGA, I would be interested in watching them. So Liv tournament is in Tucson this weekend. And so I got a ticket to go to the event and watch the golf tournament today. So it has nothing to do with content. I can't even bring a camera in there, so I probably won't get any clips. Maybe maybe I'll get a couple clips on my phone, but I'm going to be stepping away from just the nature and the content creation for a little bit today and just going to go enjoy some good golf. It's going to be a great time. I'm really, really excited for it. Today is going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. In Jesus' name. I'm going to finish this cup of joe, and then we'll get packed up and head to the golf tournament. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit later. Also, the sun on my face right now, it's glorious. <laughs> Got her all packed up, ready to go. I change into more of a golf golf viewing attire, if you will. And uh, it's time to hit the road. So we'll say goodbye to this home. And uh, we'll get down to the golf tournament. So 
Let's get going. Ugh. If I do end up getting a few clips, maybe I'll add them to this video. But if not, I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. Let's go watch some golf. I'm so excited. <laughs> Goodbye, home. Thanks for having us. It was a great night. I appreciate you. Nuclear. Come on, Bryson. Yes, you can go right when you hit the ball, so. Let's go, Phil. Nice. All righty. I am done with the golf tournament. It was so much fun. So much fun. It was so cool to be able to see those professional golfers up close. I ended up just standing on the hole on tee box for like most of the day because they're all just ripping driver off that tee box. It was so fun to watch them all. We just left there and now we are in Tucson. We are officially in the city of Tucson, heading to the grocery store, getting some stuff, and then heading to Mount Lemon. So come on, let's go. Okay, we got all our supplies and now we're heading up Mount Lemon. You guys can probably see it. There she is. Wow, she is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at the peaks on her and the ridges and the aesthetics. What a beauty. Wow. She is beautiful. <laughs> it's about 4.30 right now. It takes about an hour to get up there because she is a behemoth of a mountain. And so we'll get up there about 5.30. So we have about an hour before the sun sets. And we're gonna spend sunset up there. I figure what better place to watch sunset in Tucson than on top of Mount Lemmon, right? Just started the road and it's already magnificently beautiful. Look at these saguaros. Oh my goodness, look at these things. Coronado National Forest. We just started the road up and it's already magnificent. I'm already impressed. I can tell you that already. This is gonna be a good, good evening. I am so stoked right now. What a day so far, man. Pretty flippin' sweet. What am I even looking at right now, man? Look at that. Oh, baby. What? I can see all the way down to South America, man. Oh, yeah. We're up into the pine trees now. I am absolutely at all right now. This is brilliant, God, you beast. Creating something like this. I love seeing trees though. It's like, reminds me of home. This is magnificent. Okay, it is much, much, much colder up here. So I had to change into some warmer clothes here. Okay, they have a general store up here. I'm at Summer Haven. And this is the Mount Lemon Summer Haven General Store. Summer Haven's like this cool little mountain village. It's so cool, I love it. It reminds me of like Whistler and like Park City. Super cool vibes. I'm gonna go in here and see if they have a sticker for Mount Lemon for my overhead rack. So let's go check it out. Oh yeah, another sticker to add to the collection. Mount Lemon. I love stickers. Incredible. I'm in Arizona right now. Unreal.
Okay, that spot was pretty rad. Give me one second, I gotta put on my seat to belt safety first, everybody. Hey, that spot was pretty pretty rad. It's called Inspiration Rock, I think. Um, now we have about 20 minutes. 20 minutes left on sunset. I'm gonna try to get to one more spot, squeeze it in, and then that will be it for the night. So, it's beautiful up here. Mount Lemon. Crispy. It's so cool up here. It's such like a different vibe than the valley. Like, in the valley, it's just pure desert. Pure, just like... Arizona desert like what you would expect you come up here on Mount Lemmon whole different world There's trees Snow it's cold It's like I'm back home again. It's like I love it. I just love it. It's, it's a very 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 cool place I, I recommend if you haven't been come to Mount Lemmon. You won't regret it Okay, I found this little pole out on the road And it's not even really a trail But it looks like it opens up up here so I just parked and I'm gonna go check it out. And hopefully we can beat the sunset. It's, sun, it's setting soon, so we gotta hustle a little bit. <laughs> got a bunch of snow in my shoes. No! It's the worst thing in the world. My socks. Oh yeah. Look at that. Baby. I think it's safe to say that Mount Lemon is awesome. I love it. It's so beautiful out here. But it is very, very cold. I can't even feel my fingers anymore. So the sun just went down. You can see it. You can see behind me the sun's down now. So I'm gonna head back to the car, get my hands warmed up, and then we're gonna head back down this mountain and go look for some car camping spots. And uh, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So we did find a spot to car camp. It's up here on Reddington Pass. It's just east of Tucson. And this will be home for the night. Unfortunately though, it's super windy. The wind really picked up tonight. If I had to guess, probably up to 30 mile an hour gusts. So unfortunately cannot have a fire. There's dust blowing by from the dirt road. And it's just not, it's not pleasant sitting out there in the wind next to a fire. And the fire might even blow out if anything. Tonight's gonna be probably just kind of one of those boring camping nights. Um, not much for me to film. I'm just gonna hunker down into bed, stay out of the wind, and luckily there's a little bit of service, so I'm probably just gonna watch YouTube all night. <laughs> it kind of sucks because I wanted to um, sit outside, enjoy another fire, and watch the stars, but it is what it is. It's windy. You gotta go by the weather when you're camping, so. Um, I am gonna have a bowl of cereal though. This is uh, kind of my dinner. I had meatballs earlier, but this will be my little little snack before bed, and then uh, we'll hunker down. So let's make a bowl of cereal. There it is, in all its glory. <laughs> Dang, that one went way back there. Hopefully, I can still grab that. Now we just need our milk. Don't judge me on the prime. I needed a hydration drink. This is all they had. I don't normally get these. You didn't see anything. Let's open this bad boy right on up. Pour it right in there. Yeah! All kinds of cereal. 
I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, man. I'm losing my mind. That's what camping does to you. Where's my spoon, man? We got the spoon. This is camping dinner at its finest. In all its glory right here. All its glamour and uh, bougie living right here. Looking out over Tucson, so you can see all the city lights and stuff, which is kind of cool. And the stars are out again. They are popping out like crazy. Can you guys even see the city lights? You can kind of see the city lights a little bit. Probably looks terrible on the GoPro, but in real life it looks pretty nice. I'm just gonna finish up cereal here. And then I'm probably gonna hunker down for the night, maybe read a little bit, watch some YouTube, and then uh, get some rest. I'll probably just be seeing you guys in the morning for another day of adventure. All right, good night.